perhaps the most common way to teach in the world. A teacher, a blackboard and a group of students. But many educators now say this low engagement, low interaction way of teaching is primarily the cause of poor interest in science. And what's missing is the fun of exploration and the wow factor. Uh, the most important thing that uh, the kid should learn about this is the, the teacher. If the teacher encourages the student or uh, arouses curiosity, and the kid will love to learn science uh, automatically, naturally. It also helps a great deal if the teacher goes that extra bit to demonstrate the science in action. But it still can stand, so look. You see? And if we tilt a little bit, it will move like this. It'll wobble a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is what we call precision. This is precision. Precision, yeah. yes. We can play with uh, what we call boomerang. That's right. So, it comes come back, back to you, you. yes. <laughs> if you spin this, uh, it will generate angular momentum. Okay. And then the gravitation yeah. is the key point. So which means a student learns two concepts of physics, angular mm. momentum and gravitation, yes. at the same yeah, time, at the same time, by but throwing a boomerang. Yeah. There is a growing consensus among scientists and teachers that students develop a much deeper understanding of science when they actively grapple with questions instead of listen passively to answers. And at a time when almost every answer is available to students through a Google search, active learning is gaining popularity. Educators argue that the use of simple teaching tools to unlock the mysteries of science have far better results than depending on a conventional blackboard and textbook. The energy to, it would transfer to the water and water spring up like this. And it turns out active learning is not just beneficial for students. Teachers have lots of fun because they can learn together with the kids. Um, they can turn their ideas into project-based learning and they can carry on for many months. As an increasing number of teachers switch to active learning, the hope is that science will shed its stuffy old image and more students will find it fun to learn. Saurav Roy, TRT World, Antalya.